What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we have a brand new WWE Elite Legends set on the Target exclusive Legends Series 18 WWE Elite set. And this set's pretty cool. However, I do have some challenges here, and we're going to get into why that is right now because I want you guys to see something. So, I have not found the regular edition Samu or the Chase edition Fatu. So, I have Chase Samu and the regular Fatu. And I had a dream that I found them all. But I woke up from the dream, Brad. I don't have them all. Damn. So yeah, I only have the Chase Samu, but I'm on the constant look. I'm sure if I went to my Target, my Target took forever to stock them. And then finally, like I went like five days in a row trying to see if they would stock them. They didn't stock them. And then all of a sudden, I waited a day. I like skipped a day. I go back and it's picked over. Like, God in heaven. Nonetheless, we have Legend Series 18, man. I am so excited to get Polly Dangerously out. I never picked up my second one, but we have Polly Dangerously here looking great in the suit. Really excited to get this figure out. You got Hulk Hogan here. Solid figure. It, uh, you're really looking forward to the new skin tone and the new body and stuff like that. I think it's going to make this a whole lot better. But we do have the Hulkster here, of course. What would a Legend Series be? Or an Elite set in general? Just a, a, any figure be that it wasn't Hulk Hogan. Like I said, we have the Chase Samu here, which is not going to match our Fatu, of course. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Fatu, which is pretty cool. But I really wish they would include a Build-A-Figure in, the, in these sets. I think that would really put them over the top. You know, make a... Make all the Legend sets have Build-A-Figure pieces because I think that would probably help them either A, from going to clearance, or B, it would help them clear off clearance because people would be like, oh, I get the Build-A-Figure piece, and then you you know what I'm saying? You'd get to build that guy easily, and you'd have parts for the pieces, and, you know, it's just random thoughts there. But let's shut the hell up, crack this Legend set out of the packaging, and find out what we got. All right, guys, so here's Legend Series 18 out of the packaging. I don't know why. It just feels like we're on, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I guess I'm just confusing it with the Superstore with, like, Legend Series 20 with Ted DiBiase and all that. And it's like, I don't know. Nonetheless, man, here they are out, out of the packaging. I think it's a pretty cool set, you know? I like that we have Fatu and Samu in here. I love that we have Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Holly Dangerously in the suit looks really sweet. I'm happy for him, but... Nonetheless, man, we're not going to do it like our typical reviews where, you know, we take every figure, dissect the hell out of it, and then we look at the figure itself, dissect the hell out of it. In these Legend Sets reviews, we do give you a decent suck. I think we do enough to cover the full instance of the figure that you're getting here, but nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. Again, this is the Chase Samu, and this is the regular version. So, in the regular Samu, it would not have this floral pattern. It would be solid black with the same design as the Fatu. And then vice versa, the Chase Fatu will have the floral design. So, that's just your kind of... Of, you know mismatch there but let's dive into the first figure in the set and they're pretty much the exact same figure i mean they have their own head sculpts i like this head sculpt here you do have the entrance gear which is removable so you can actually remove this off of the figure now one thing that i saw was pretty interesting is could they use this torso specifically for solo sokoa i think they could it's not as like big as you would think but i think it's better than the daniel bryan so if they actually went with this for solo over the daniel bryan torso i couldn't fight him on it i think it would work well but you know i think these arms could be bigger i think these are a bit skinny for Fatu and Samu, but you know what? I, I don't, like, hate it. You know, I just think it could use, like, maybe in a 35 Luke harper S style, like, kind of that bigger, chunkier arms. But I guess it gets the job done there. I think you could probably use this crotch piece for Solo as well. They just need to fit. They need to fix this entire form. They said they were going to fix him, so we'll see what comes of it, but I think these legs would be too skinny for Solo, so I don't know what they're going to do, but on the side, you do have this cool, have the cool logo right there. Pretty plain, but it says Fatu and white on the black trunks, and then you do have these removable, I guess you wouldn't call them tassels but they are like a removable you know they're removable ankle covers or whatever you want to call these so you can't pull these off and when you pull these off you'll notice that he has the ankle tape he does have the ankle tape here and then uh yeah dude these lower legs are just this is just super skinny to be honest with you but it's not a bad figure but if you pull up samu here he also has a really good head sculpt i love the brown hair on the chase as well he has black hair on the regular version but the tongue out head sculpt i think these look really damn good actually like their head sculpts and stuff but they have their entrance gear and then for the other attire you get this really nice floral pattern like I get in here you guys can see like how bright and shiny this is it looks really good look at that right there so this is way cooler than the regular version and so it gives you you know a reason to go to after this thing I'm definitely going to get both sets just because but the floral pattern looks really really clean so I like it a lot but there's the difference between the trunks and then on Samu's regular version it's going to say Samu instead of Fatu obviously but these look good I like this and then he's got the same gimmick no taped ankles over here but these guys are virtually the same with different head sculpts I mean that's basically what you're getting there but they were attached 
tag team. You know, they go together and everything like that. And that's kind of how we do it anyways with our tag team reviews. But their accessories are really cool because you do get the cloth waist wrap here. And I forget what the actual term is, so I do apologize what the actual term is. But you can pull this around and it's got the Velcro piece. You can Velcro it in the back so you can do this for their entrances, which is really cool. We saw something similar to this in the Hollywood Rock and Roman Reigns Elite figures, but the pattern looks really good. It fits the figure well, so I have no issues with that. I think that's cool. And then they also come with these long bamboo stick style stick poles or pole sticks, whatever you want to say. You know, if you go to the Target and you buy like 76 of these, you can make a Punjabi prison possibly, but they have a nice sculpt on there. You got the tape or the wrap going around and they're very long. Like, dude, these are tall as hell. You back this up, I mean, it's like a good two inches, inch and a half, probably two inches over the top of the head. So that's pretty good. I like these bamboos, but they both have the same exact accessories. So you're getting the same waist wrap. You're both getting the bamboo sticks and then you're also getting these like claw hands so you're getting the same hands that we saw with ricky steamboat bronson reed guys like that so you're getting that same like like underhanded toss style hand i guess or like grabby hand so that's pretty cool dude i really hate that we didn't get a build a figure in this set like i the, i know that it's like I'm, I'm saying that like they always include a build a figure or something like like it's never been a thing it's just looking at this set in its entirety usually when we have like a pay-per-view set or something like that we always have these build a figures and now we're we're getting the monday night war set which is also going to have a build a figure in it and it's like, where the hell has the Build-A-Figures been for these sets? Nonetheless, we're diving into the Hulk Hogan. This actually, believe it or not, is a new head sculpt. And it looks very, very similar to the ones that we've seen in the past. So if you take the Elite 91 Hogan, look how similar these are. I mean, they're very similar. This one does look a bit better, I will say. It's not as cartoony. I mean, they've been using this for like a decade almost now, this head sculpt here. So this looks solid. You know, it's the same light skin tone. We've talked about it. We know that the new one's coming, the new torso and stuff. But it's definitely something that you want to keep mentioning. But he's got his Hogan headband on there. He does have this nice Hulkster shirt, like the tie-dye, and it's got WCW on there, and it is Velcro in the back. So that's cool. I like that. You know, I know people are going to be fixing up this Hogan and putting some, you know, the new torso or the Ultimate Edition torso and the skin tone and stuff like that. But he's got his wristbands on there, which are also cool. They actually have the accurate graphics on there, and they're singular. So I'm going to be using these for John Cena, I imagine, down the road. Uh, it's the same, like, ripped-up torso. We've seen that. And then this is pretty much the Elite 91 figure. They may have a different crotch piece but maybe it's like the old hall of fame i think this is like the old like the old hall of fame figure with double jointed arms but he's got holster down the side and then he does have his cowboy boots in here which look good which i always liked so I, it's like your run of the mill hogan there's like nothing like over the top just spectacular about this but it is another hulk hogan that people are going to purchase off the shelves so it is what it is he comes with fists he comes with his mic holding hands and then he also comes with his you know Kawhi leonard ricochet entrance handshaking style hands and then he comes with his holster weight belt which is still very inaccurate. Doesn't have a belt loop or a buckle or anything. They said it's something they're not going to address, so they just said it's not a priority, so that stinks. Last but not least, we have Polly Dangerously. Love the like grayish, greenish, tealish style suits. Like really light gray. Not coming across on camera, to be honest with you, but I really like it. I like the pattern on the tie there, which looks really clean. Yeah, this is clean as hell. I like it. I dig this. I don't have any issues whatsoever with this. You know, he's got the same like build-a-figure style legs. Very articulated. He's got a nice young, you know, strapping Heyman there, which looks cool you can pull you, you know you can pair these with a lot of different stuff but putting the hat on isn't the best it sits up very high which i can relate to most hats don't fit me unless it's new era legitimately new era hats seven and five eighths or something like that is what i wear so i cannot just wear any hat i gotta get the hat stretcher out it's a whole deal but my head's big get over it but i like the mullet i like the ecw hat even though mine's like kind of misprinted it needs to be a little bit higher i'd say but he also comes with this first time in the line old cell phone with this you know with the antenna i don't know why they would want this to break it so you can actually break this apart i really don't want to do it but you see how it breaks apart it breaks apart and then the antenna can come out i guess you can have a, a antenna list phone but i don't know man i think that would have been cooler just to have this retractable maybe i don't know but it's got sculpted buttons and everything which is really cool it kind of sends me back some but that's that's crazy that you can actually get rid of the antenna but it fell out and i almost lost it forever but he does come with you know the choke slamming style hands so he can actually you know grip this in the hand which is good so you know uh well anyway you get it i guess he can't grip it that well but yeah he can't really grip Rip it that well. Hey, uh, list of things you hate to see. That. That's on there. It's definitely on there. But I like the Poly Danger sleeve. Moves around good. He does come with pointer fingers, which we've seen a hundred times. So you are getting the dual pointer finger hands, which are cool. 
You get dual choke slamming hands, which I think Mike Holding would have sufficed. And then you also get a pair of fisted hands, which we've seen a million times. But one thing I do want to see is I want to see what he looks like up next to his old self. So here is our Legends 18 Paul Heyman figure in the suit. He's a little bit slimmer, but now uh, nowadays he's got less hair. He's a little bit chunkier. And we have the Amazon exclusive Tribal Chief versus Beast 3-pack Paul Heyman figure, which I love both. I think they're great. We really desperately needed both of these. We needed a modern Heyman and we needed a throwback Heyman. So I think this checks all the boxes. Maybe we'll get a trench coat Heyman. We definitely need a trench coat Heyman at some point, but these these are pretty cool. I like the Paul Heyman figure a lot. I think you can do some cool fix-ups. Actually, now that we're on that, let's go ahead and just try it just so you guys can see exactly what that looks like if you guys wanted to try it yourselves. So here's Paul Heyman, and then in the blink of an eye, you could take that off and you can make a Cody. And will that work? Uh, I mean, it sits a little bit low, but you might could get away with that. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it, to be honest with you, but then you have Seth Rollins, and I don't know. It's not horrific. Thick, I guess, but yeah, I don't hate it, but I'm going to leave Paul Heyman on there for now. You guys can be the judges of that down in the comment section below, but now before we get out of here, I do want to rank this set from worst to best, because that's what we do around here, constantly ranking stuff, and I'm still doing my Elite 1 through 100 ranking, still editing it. Massive project, to be honest with you. A lot of editing, a lot of things going into that, but nonetheless, let's rank this set, and again, you guys know the meal. Just because a figure comes in at the bottom doesn't mean that it doesn't have any redeeming qualities whatsoever. And it just it just should not be in your collection. And just because a figure comes in at number one doesn't mean that it's perfect. So with all those things being said, let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting out at the bottom, I guess you could say if I had the Chase Samu and the Chase Fatu, I'd probably like the Chase... Hmm. I like the chases better than the regular version. So, so at the start, I'm putting Hulk Hogan at the bottom. Just not a lot of stuff here. So many things that piss me off about that. I'd put Hulk Hogan at the very bottom. Actually, nah. Yeah, probably so. I'm gonna put Hogan at the very bottom. I'd put regular version Samu and Fatu at the same. Then I'd put the chase versions of Samu and Fatu. And then I would put Paul Heyman at the number one or Pauly Dangerously at the number one spot. I just like that figure a lot. I love suited figures, though. You guys know how that is. But huge shout out to our patrons. If you guys are interested in checking out the MDT Patreon, some cool perks over there, figure giveaways, lots of cool stuff over there. If you guys are interested, click the links in the description below. Figure giveaways every month and other bonus content. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Definitely check that out. We also have the Pro Wrestling Tees store, Pro Wrestling Tees slash My Damn Toys. Go check out the shop for some t-shirts. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know where you guys stand here, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time time.